God, I just realized something amazing. Episode 7 of my blog comes out exactly the same day that Star Wars Episode 7 hits theaters. Holy sh! As far as being a Star Wars fan, I'm definitely not gonna try to claim that I'm the biggest Star Wars fan out there. There are a lot more people that like the series better than I do or more than I do, but I mean, still, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a, my, myself a pretty huge fan, and I've done a bunch of things to prove that, which we'll talk about later on. But I mean, the first thing I need to do to actually see the movie is get tickets. Um, fortunately, I bought advanced tickets for the uh, the opening night and then uh, for the weekend after that. I just have to go and pick this up first. Here we go, cutting the sublight engines. Okay, so we are at the movie theater. Now I have to find out where the kiosk is. So I can take out my tickets. So this is the kiosk. I have to pick up tickets. Is it working? There it is. Awesome. Okay, I got ticket number one. Now we have to go and look for ticket number two. We made it to mall number two. Now I have to go into the theater and get the ticket. Got it. Okay, I have my two tickets for Star Wars. Um, so that's done. Uh, now let me tell you a little story. So as far as I can remember, I think I've always been a Star Wars fan. I mean, I have clear memories of me as a little boy playing with different Star Wars related action figures. I really remember having a small um, uh, version of Luke's uh, speeder. So, I mean, that was fun. My whole life, I've been a Star Wars fan, I guess. Yeah. But it wasn't until episode two, um, I was a senior in high school um and i found this group of people through an online forum called fanforce.net so i ended up uh joining the message boards and met a lot of really cool people really cool local people that also shared the same interest as i did for star wars to this date a couple of those uh people that i met on that fanforce message board are really close friends of mine so i really made awesome friends by joining one of these message boards who's scruffy looking one of the coolest things about star wars are the lightsabers naturally what is it it's your father's lightsaber this is the weapon of a jedi knight not as clumsy or random as a blaster an elegant weapon a more civilized age and 
I think that every Star Wars fan at some point has wanted to have their own lightsaber. So at some point, I bought one of those plastic toy lightsabers and took a couple of pictures of myself holding the lightsaber. And then on Photoshop, I created the you know lightsaber effect, and it kind of became a thing. People wanted me to uh, do the lightsabers on top of pictures of them holding plastic toy lightsabers. So check it out. I had um, these pictures of me. I mean, that's a really young me with the plastic lightsaber. And then what I did is, where is it? Do this. So I was a huge nerd and fan of lightsabers, so you can see. Half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder. So naturally, after doing stills, let's call him, after doing stills of me holding, you know, uh, lightsaber toys, the next logical step is to actually do them, you know, the full effect, like moving, like a, like a little, you know, movie of, of, of a lightsaber. We kind of wrote a little, you know, action uh, short film and shot it and did, did the effects. Here, check it out. So let me show you the little, you know, little clip. Um, it was called Project Seul. And basically, you know, we had two guys dressing up as a Jedi and a Sith. And they kind of started to battle it out on, you know, a jungle outside the city. You know, it was a really, really short um, FX film. Um, I want to put the link uh, down below so you can watch it in, in its entirety if you want to. But it was something really fun, really fun to make. This is what we use to, you know, uh, as props to make the film. I mean, it costs like three bucks each. So, so yeah, um, doing a small short film based of Star Wars effect it's really fun, specifically if you're a fan of the whole series. So that was back in 2002 or maybe 2003. I can't quite remember. It's 2015 now. A new movie, a new Star Wars movie is coming out. I have my tickets with me. I'm super excited. I have really high hopes that J.J. Abrams nailed this new movie and, you know, would make good for all the horrible damage that George Lucas did on the new trilogy so I mean basically that was my little story my little Star Wars with its story that I wanted to share with you guys um, lightsabers are great I mean Star Tours and Disney is great and being a fan of Star Wars is great but what really you know stayed with me all these years are the friendships that I made because of Star Wars um, some of my best friends I met through that forum, you know, a bunch of years ago. So it's it all comes down to the people. So as one great Jedi once said, may the force be with you always. Don't, don't make me destroy you. That movie was amazing! <laughs>